Maybe you have heard the term cache coloring before. Cache coloring is a technique with which the last level cache of a CPU is divided into areas, so called colors. This has several advantages. With this technique, the source conflicts can be minimized, namely when two CPU cores or application threads want to access the same cache block. Cache coloring thus facilitates the predictability of application processes and thus contributes to greater reliability of the overall system. In addition, the system as a whole can benefit from the separation of memory areas in terms of performance and parallelism. They can be improved because with good planning processes rarely have to wait for resources to become free. But how does cache coloring work exactly? Modern multi-core processors have multiple caches. CPU cores share the last level cache. With cache coloring, this last level cache is now divided up and reserved from the outset. The individual threads and thread groups only access cache lines that repeat at the same interval each time, which when bundled together by the memory management unit result in a new page. The cache lines have a common address base and are all found on a page created and therefore colored by the MMU. Cache coloring is therefore also called page coloring. Since only certain threads can access and modify colored pages and thus cache lines, there is less interference and thus more consistent data. This is important in applications that require deterministic behavior. In other words, all safety-critical applications where it must be clear from the outset exactly what can happen in any situation. PicoS offers the possibility to use cache coloring for the ARM V8 architecture to guarantee the highest level of deterministic behavior. This gives customers the ability to build their safety-critical applications even more safely and securely.